Hey guys, yeah, this is a video on screen version, which is also on the fly and uncut and uncensored and unscripted, I should say. And you will listen to an audio version as well, or get an audio version later on that I did this morning. But along with some several other audio videos I have yet to upload and create. Uh, but anyway, the title says it best It Happened Again. But this time, it wasn't the Netherlands, it wasn't China, heck, it wasn't even Australia. It was someone within the fandom that's been known to do this before. In fact, this individual is responsible for the final episodes of Season 7 being released early. The movie itself being ha pirated and released online days before its official theatrical big screen release. This person is also known to basically have um, hacked into Hasbro and DHX's files and uploaded about uploaded episodes that were basically 75% complete, mostly fully animated, you know, VA recordings done and everything. The only exception was no background music and no sound effects had been added in just yet. So yeah, it's the same person. It's the same person at the same time that he did that with season eight episodes, mostly the first half ones, also by doing this, by hacking into the files, gave us concept art or uploaded and released concept art for Hasbro's plans for Generation 5 and the potential character designs of the main six. So why do I bring this up and why do I say it happened again? Well because it did. Because like I, you know, because like I said, you know, we thought the Netherlands would be the ones to beat us. We thought Australia, we thought China. Nope. It was this individual himself once again that hacked into Hasbro's system, Hasbro's uh, files, or DHX's files. Some are saying it's DHX more than Hasbro, because Hasbro seems to have title security, but either way, this person hacked into the systems and basically got access to the final four episodes that have yet to air um, anywhere in the world. These are the final four episodes that have yet to be aired in China. They're the final four episodes that have yet to be aired in Australia. And basically the, the final four episodes that as far as the Netherlands is concerned has yet to be aired there. But yeah, this individual hacked into, the into DHX Media or Hasbro systems, mostly DHX, and got access to these files. Not only did he get access to these files, but just like before, he uploaded them on the net, onto the internet. Now this individual used, one thing this individual used was called Mega Sync. Now I tried it and it's an okay uh, software, it's not threatening or anything, but it does have, you know, when I mean not threatening, I mean virus wise and all that. But it does have a little bit of a catch, and that catch is it's kind of hard on bandwidth. It's kind of like the bandwidth kind of suffers a little bit. So, anyway, um, Mega Sync was not an option for anybody, from what I understand, especially me. So, I continued looking. And eventually I saw a torrent, so I downloaded the torrent file. And that took, and it was taking a while for, for it to finish up. It was, I think it was at like 18%, 12% after several hours. And it wasn't because of the, it wasn't because of the internet connection, no. It's because these things, it's because there was so much in the torrent to be, um, you know, downloaded that I pretty much said this got it I pretty much figured there's gotta be another way. And there was. 
there was a way that we've become very used to now due to these cer certain situations. Yander. Yeah, Yander Disc. That's Y-A-N-D-E-R Disc. D-I-S-K. Yander Disc. Which has an app here on uh, the phones, your iPhones, or your Androids. But yeah, Yander Disc uh, had been basically a go-to um, site as well as soft, you know, site or software, whatever you want to call it, um, over the past several weeks, if not months, when episodes would be released early, courtesy of either being released early in China or in the Netherlands case when they accidentally get released unintentionally along with the rest of the season. Because long story short, in case you guys don't know, the Netherlands were only supposed to release uh, the first half of the final season on the video land on demand service. So yeah, that so yeah, basically, they goofed up there. And because of the backlash that was received because of that goof up, as well as because of the negative backlash that was given to some of the creative staff, because of what they saw in these final episodes, even though they were unintentionally supposed to see them, uh, basically the Netherlands took most of their uploads down. I'm assuming the first half is still up, but the second half is not. China and Australia halted on releasing any more second half episodes due to the backlash. I'm assuming at the request of DHX Media and Hasbro. So everything up to that point seemed to be okay. The last episode that China released early on the on-demand service was a couple of weeks ago, and that was Daring Doubt. So, so imagine people's reaction when Equestria Daily uh, reports that basically all that all of what happened, the early releases, the unintentional releases, everything that's happened is now a moot point. Because basically, like I said, it happened again. It happened again, and now the episodes are on the internet. Now I'm pretty sure Hasbro will do whatever it takes along with DHX Media, to try to get these episodes off the internet uh, before long. Um, like I said, Yander Disc is one of the places you can find them. Google Drive could be another. The Torrents could be another. But I'm sure Hasbro and DHX Media are going to look every place that pretty much they're hearing about. Like, I'm pretty sure they know about Yander Disc. I'm pretty sure they know about Google Drive. Well, they definitely know about that. And they know about the Torrents. So they know... So they definitely know what, you know, like main areas, main uh, places to target to get these episodes offline, you know, so that nobody sees them before the official release. And that may work and it may not because word like this spreads really fast. And basically, no doubt, fans have already did what they can that want to get access to these They've already got access to them no matter what. Now, here's the thing. Everybody likes to issue out blame games, right? You know, everybody likes to issue out blame games. You know, people are going to come out and they're going to blame the guy that did this, the individual that did this along with those that helped him. And yes, he and anybody else that helped him should take the blame. They should take a lot of the blame. But the others that should share the blame, if you want to throw blame around as equally, is Hasbro and DHX themselves, either individually or together. Because of the fact that whatever, wh wh whichever one of them, if not both, but whichever one of them got hacked into, 
they need to owe up to this to this as well because they should have realized they should have learned from the last time that this was possible they should have learned from the last time this happened with season eight when those episodes were released early especially those episodes that were not fully completed that this was possible of happening again now word had gone out that they had tightened the security and everything that you know it'd be harder for people to hack into but obviously that didn't happen obviously you know they didn't do didn't try as hard as they said they would because again as the title says it happened again it happened once again and now like i said the final four episodes are out there they are out there as we speak how do i know real simple i can thank yander disc when that finally got a little bit of a, a, a link and um, i ended up downloading the episodes myself so yeah Along with Yander Dis uh, upload of the early China release of episode 21, I now have episodes 22 to 26. On top of that, as far as 26 and 25 are concerned, I have basically the original Netherland unintentional release as well as the English subtitle one. Well, 26 is the English subtitle one anyway. But anyway, you get the idea. Now, here's the thing. There's an old saying that goes, you reap what you sow. And Hasbro and DHX, you know, again, like I said, the individual that did this and the people that helped him should take some part of the blame. But Hasbro and DHX take should take the blame as well because... They should have learned the lesson, and they didn't, and now they're reaping what they sowed by not, you know, putting in a stronger security system. Something that made it, something that, as they, I think, put it, would make things harder for people to hack into. Now, with that said, with that said, there are probably going to be people that are conspiracy theorists. In other words, people that speculate and wonder, hmm, you know, did Hasbro and, or DHX, if not both, allow this to purposely happen? Yeah, people think that. Because, believe it or not, when the MLP movie ended up pirated online, people speculated that this happened because Hasbro and DHX allowed it. Well, Hasbro themselves allowed it to happen so they can get more promotion out of the out of the movie. Now some people would come on and say that hold on for a sec. Sorry about that, but like I said, some would probably come out and say that, you know, why would Hasbro do something like that when it takes away profit from theatrical showings? Cause here's the thing, when the movie came out and the pirated in the movie it's Came out into theaters it still made some decent money to the point that it was one of the more uh, surprising um, box office um, hits of the summer not mega not a mega like blockbuster but basically one that made its money back if not more so in fact if you want a good example of that Matt Matt Brunette or Brunette aka Animat uh, put it in an honorable mention of top five and best animated features. So it made its money back, despite what happened. So, you know, there will be, like I said, conspiracy theorists and speculators that wonder if Hasbro allows this kind of stuff to happen so they can get people talking about the show and talking about the franchise even more so. And, you know, that... If people feel that way, that's their opinion. You know, if they feel that Hasbro allowed this to happen with the movie to get people talking about it so people would actually go and see it on the big screen and support it, you, especially if they didn't support, you know, the, how the movie got released online, then there you go. 
And the same could be said for the episodes. People might say, well, maybe Hasbro allows this to happen so people will talk about it. Get people talking about the shows and maybe people who don't like this kind of stuff happening and don't like to be spoiled will go and um, watch the episodes when they come out. The, instead of falling for uh, instead of falling uh, for this um, situation and or getting involved in it or even taking advantage of it, which on for, which fortunately and unfortunately, no matter depending on how you look at it, people did take advantage because, like I said, you reap what you sow. So, you know, people again, but so anyway, people will speculate that maybe Hasbro allowed this to happen, just like with the other ones, to get people talking. And again, it's all up to if that's all he said, she said. You know, it's like, did they or did they not? It's all up for debate. Because one thing people will point out is it's kind of ironic that the episodes that got released were the final four episodes of the season that had yet to air officially anywhere. Because like I said, China, when they were doing the on-demand release of the episodes, the last one they had released uh, was Daring Doubt, which was the last Daring Do episode. So, you know, if people want to feel that way, fine, let them feel that way. But, you know, again, it's up for debate of whether or not Hasbro and DHX, maybe both, had a say in this. Maybe they allowed it to happen to get people talking. Because they realize there are those, there's a majority of group of people, and I'm not denying this, that like to go in and watch something without being spoiled. I mean... Let's be honest, you can't go to Wikipedia or even here on YouTube without someone doing a spoilers video. Like Angry Joe, when he goes and sees a movie, he does either in one video or two separate ones a non-spoiler and a spoiler. Sometimes if it's one video, the non-spoiler is at the beginning. He gives you a chance to stop the video after the, you see the non-spoiler review to go see it yourself or he allows you the opportunity to continue and watch the spoilers review because maybe you can't wait to see it and you want to know what happens so again it's up for it's up for debate of how people review it you know in this whole situation and again maybe it's a positive maybe you know the Maybe that majority of people that don't like spoilers that are here in the fandom will be like, look, it's tempting, and yes, maybe I'll download the episodes, but I'm not going to watch them. There will be people that will do that. They will not watch the episodes until the episodes officially air. And that, kinda, that could help out in the long run, too, because get this. People would probably download these and wait to watch them around the official time frame on time release because of the fact that they may be out of town. They might be traveling on a plane or in a bus or something like that, and they don't have access to cable, so they could watch the episodes, right? So what they could do is take the episodes with them and watch them on their phone or their tablets or whatever. So there is that positive. But again, but again, it's all up to interpret it's all up to you know the individual's interpretation i mean i've come out and basically shown you that because of china's early release of some of the episodes that i already have dragon dropped which airs this saturday which airs this saturday um, on discovery family officially here in the u.s I already have it because it aired in China several weeks ago. I have it because it aired in China several weeks ago. So I already have access to that episode. I already have it. And I know some people 
Some people may not be thrilled with that, but it's the truth. I do have the episode. As well as I have a horse shoe in, which is premiering a week from this Saturday on Discovery Family, which is the Starlight Glimmer episode. So I have that. Point is, I have access to these episodes. Well, it's physically on disc now. And if I want, if I want, I think I still have access to them on my computer so I could create maybe a video, a PMV using some of it. Anyway. Anyway, I have yet to really watch them that much on the disc, because guess what I still do? I still watch the episodes, or DVR the episodes, when they come on Discovery Family, and then, either the next day, which is a Sunday, or on a Monday, whenever I got time, I record the episodes onto DVD. That's right, I still support it. I still support these episodes during their official releases. And that's why I think that people may, that may download the episodes now because of the situation, they won't watch them until they officially come out. So that way, maybe if there is any kind of slight differences between these, um, uh, between these episodes that got hacked in, that got, you know, that got released online, because of this situation and the official on-air ones they can spot them but again we will have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see but in the end though like I said at the be like the title says it happened again and we just got to see how Hasbro and DHX media are gonna deal with this in the future you know we're just gonna have to wait and see how they respond to it you know because one of the because here's the thing this time around we didn't have any concept off for G5 we may have some, some ideas maybe but the one thing that ended up getting released along with this was scripts from all of the seasons from the entire series every episode script which runs about 27 to 30 pages long also got released and you can view them in PDF form if you take the torrent. If you go with the torrent you can view them in PDF form. As well as there's scripts for the upcoming shorts that tie in to the final episode of the series. And there might be some other stuff as well I'm not really sure but anyway I gotta get back into work guys but any I gotta start getting ready to get back to work, but I thought I'd come on here and let you know, as the title says, it happened again. This time, it's the final four episodes, and along with them, you get all the scripts um, from all the seasons, as well as scripts that have yet to be animated to tie into the final episodes, and I think even some scripts that were unfinished as well. But, uh, yeah, it happened again, so let's see what happens. I don't think, honestly, Hasbro will, Hasbro THX will push the premieres on Discovery Family back any further because if you're a conspiracy theorist, you'll notice that they didn't do that beforehand when this happened, so who's to say they'll do it now? And that might fuel the fire, maybe, to those that believe Hasbro and DHX might have something to do with this. So, I'll have a say in it. So, I can't, so that's all I can really say though. But, I gotta get back in guys, and uh, just to uh, let you guys know what's going on. And uh, let me know what you think down below, comment if you like, and I will talk to you all later.